Dataiku is the unified AI platform, transforming how organizations approach AI and analytics, bringing together business experts and data professionals. Paired with one of the leading cloud services in AWS, enterprises will be able to unify, operationalize, and repeat their AI processes at the speed needed to grow. In this demo, let's see how a team tackles a use case using the integrations between Dataiku and AWS. We'll get to see how business teams are empowered, solutions are built at a faster pace, and how you can maintain trust and governance in these projects. In the next eight minutes, let's see Dataiku and AWS in action as we try to predict fraudulent credit card transactions. AWS has numerous services, but the great thing about Dataiku is it brings them all under one centralized location. To begin our project, we need to find relevant data. With Dataiku connected to our AWS data sources, we can easily use data from S3 buckets, our Redshift data warehouse, no SQL databases like DynamoDB, and many other services like Athena and RDS. For our project, we'll use datasets in our data catalog from our S3 that provide information on cardholders, transactions, merchant categories, and locations. Now that our datasets are in our project, let's examine one of them and explore the data for a thorough understanding. We can quickly use the Analyze tab to get a brief view of the data quality, create data quality rule sets, create visualizations, or we could go to the Statistics tab and create cards that allow us to see an exploratory analysis of each of our columns. After exploring all of our columns, we can now join them together. Instead of using code like Python or SQL, we can utilize a visual recipe while still using our AWS EKS for computational power. Here, we're going to join together our three data sets and choose which columns we'd like to have in our output. And ultimately, we'll use EKS as our computation. Now we have an output data set in our S3 bucket with all three data sets joined. Now that the three datasets are joined, we can use a visual prepare recipe to begin preparing the data for modeling. In this recipe, with a few simple clicks, we can create a geo point from the latitude and longitude of these customers and their card locations. We can do date formatting and pull temporal information from these transactions, and we can do many more without the need of code. Then ultimately execute our script as either a Spark job or through Dataiku's computational engine running on our AWS EKS cluster. Having prepared the data and dividing it into a training dataset and an evaluation dataset, an extra step was taken prior to modeling. Utilizing Spark SQL, additional preparation was performed on evaluation data to ensure that only transactions from this year were included. Yet the versatility doesn't end with Spark SQL. The script could have been done in Dataiku using standard SQL code, Python code, R code, or any of the Spark configurations of those languages. This allows our more technical users to have their full suite of tools while working with less experienced teammates. Before we start our model building, we connected to the SageMaker model created previously. We were able to connect to the model through Dataiku's external model feature, where we can utilize any deployed SageMaker model in our Dataiku flows. This makes it much easier to reuse a model that we already have in production and make it more accessible for business teams and analysts to use. Now it's time to start training the actual model. Within Dataiku, we have the ability to either do it in Python or R code, or we can use Dataiku's visual machine learning to create quick model training tournaments with a number of built-in custom algorithms. Today, we're just gonna make two simple models one being a logistic regression and the other being a random forest to predict which credit card transactions are fraudulent or not. This makes it seamless for less experienced data professionals to create their own ML models with speed and ease. It also helps with quick iteration or testing for more experienced data scientists to create a model without extensive code. Once we design our model, we can hit run and see how each model performed against the other and ultimately see the results of each model all the way down to the feature level. Dataiku takes a white box approach to machine learning so that you can know exactly how your model is performing before it even touches production. 
Now that we have our model created, we can evaluate its performance on our evaluation dataset and create a model evaluation store, which we store the model's evaluation and drift metrics for our MLOps process. We can also score unknown credit card transactions, which are housed in our Redshift. Here, we can sync data from our S3 bucket to the same Redshift and enrich those datasets together using an SQL recipe. Ultimately, we can use our model on these unknown transactions and score them to determine if the model considers them fraudulent or not. Now that we've scored our model on unknown transactions, let's take this a step further. We can use generative AI to inform reviewers of why a transaction was deemed authorized or not. To do this, we can use a prompt recipe in DataIQ, which provides a fully visual way to interact with all the LLMs we have access to via DataIQ's LLM mesh. Utilizing LLMs through DataIQ allows us to have full governance and oversight as well as audibility of the usage of these LLMs through the LLM mesh. We have a set up AWS Bedrock connection and have access to a number of different LLMs which we can mix and match for our given use case. For this example, we'll use our AWS Titan LLM in our AWS Bedrock connection. Thanks to the LLM mesh, we can control guardrails such as toxicity, PII detection, and cost management. Now that we've gone through our entire project, scored our model on new data, and used an LLM to provide a quality explanation of our predictions, it's time to deploy the model. Because we're dealing with a real-time use case, let's deploy this as an API. Currently, we have a production environment in SageMaker, so we'll deploy straight to that environment in DataIQ. In DataIQ, we have the ability to deploy directly to AWS SageMaker, which leads to less friction and more speed when deploying and consolidating our ML ops. We've already set up a SageMaker connection in our DataIQ deployer. So now all we have to do is push our model to the deployer with a few clicks and ultimately put it into production. Now that our model is deployed into production as an API, we can track that model's performance and activity from DataIQ's unified monitoring dashboard, along with all other models we have in production. This continues to consolidate our MLOps process and give us one unified place where we have full oversight over our models deployed in DataIQ, AWS SageMaker, or anywhere else. Last but not least, the model and the project that we created is fully governed within DataIQ Govern. We can use Govern to keep track of sign-offs and approvals, documentation, and make sure our project and our models are compliant with our organizational requirements. Before we go, it's important to note that DataIQ has integrations with many other AWS services, such as Recognition and Comprehend, through plugins. With plugins, DataIQ continues to future-proof your ecosystem and technology stack. So whenever you make changes, DataIQ will as well. This demo was a quick way to see how DataIQ and AWS are a powerful team together. Using both in tandem will allow data teams to unify their data and AI efforts, operationalize them with speed and efficiency, and repeat the process so it becomes a full system rather than a one-off project. Thanks for watching.